They have names like Assassins, God of War, Resident Evil, Grand Theft Auto. Though most violent video games have ratings to discourage underage access, in the aftermath of the Newtown Massacre, Father Fred Daly thinks such games and toys should become part of the debate over our so-called culture of violence. With those young angels, we would call them uh, to be um, victims of violence at, at such a tender age, I think has just brought to all of us the reality that something's got to be done. So Father Daly is setting up baskets at the entrance of All Saints Church on Lancaster Avenue. It's not far from Manly Fieldhouse in Syracuse. Here, parishioners, and anyone else for that matter, are invited to drop off video games and toys that may glorify death and violence. Wouldn't it be wonderful if the Christmas tree on Christmas morning could be surrounded by peace and not with uh, symbols of violence. The parishioners here just learned of Father Daly's initiative today, and already he's receiving support for the effort. But what are we saying to our children? I mean, we're saying that it's okay to, to kill people. Father Daly asks that if you would like to drop off your violent games and toys at this church, that you bring along the packages and receipts. We will gather them and bring them back to the stores. And, uh, and what will you do with the money? The money we're going to send to uh, Newtown, Connecticut, to the various uh, funds that are being uh, sought to aid the families who lost their children. Father Daly feels turning in violent video games is a beginning step, as he calls it. He says such images feed the culture of violence that make people numb to the suffering of others. Reporting from Syracuse, I'm Jim Kenyon.